Hi everyone, welcome back to the Luxy Hair Channel. My name is Vanessa and today we're going to be talking about how you can go from short hair to longer hair with a balayage effect without actually having to dye your hair. I'll also be sharing some tips and tricks with you on how to blend hair extensions with shorter hair lengths and also everything you need to know about balayage extensions. Let's get started. So if you don't know what balayage is, it's actually a French coloring technique where color is hand painted into the hair rather than using foil or cap highlighting. This creates a really soft, more natural looking gradual highlight effect. So no harsh or obvious lines. Think sun-kissed and multi-tonal. A lot of people ask what the difference is between ombre and balayage. Ombre is when the hair cohesively and gradually goes from one color to another, usually darker to lighter. You can see a gradual shift, like a dip dye effect. I'm going to be showing you how I blend my 20 inch ash brown balayage luxie hair extensions with my short hair. So yes, you can 100% add sun-kissed dimension to your hair without real dye, damage or commitment. Let's get into it. First up, my balayage luxies are 180 grams, but I will be adding a balayage volumizer because my hair is on the shorter side, so I'll need a little extra thickness. To speed up the process, I usually like pre-curling my luxies on the deluxe styler. This way, they're ready to go and I can clip them in and not worry about styling them. Because I have short hair, a great tip is to braid the bottom layer of your short hair to make it easier to blend. If your haircut is on the choppier side, this is really helpful. If you have a lot of layering, you may not need to do this. I just braid and then pin it up with bobby pins like this. Now we're ready to clip in our first weft. I usually start with a three clipped weft. Another trick to blending short hair with long extensions is to stack your webs. That way you're concentrating the thickness near the bottom of the hair, which is where you need to build up the thickness the most, rather than layering wefts one by one on your head. I like to clip the four clipped wefts together like this and then clip the bottom one here like this. If you have a really blunt short cut or really thick hair and need some extra thickness, definitely grab a Luxie hair volumizer. This will add 45 grams of extra thickness. Once all my wefts are clipped in, I'll brush everything out and now I'm just going to touch up my waves with a curling wand. A great tip for short hair is to take a straightener and almost straighten your short ends into the long waves. Lastly, I'll finish the look off with a spritz of hairspray and set the look. That's it! If you have short hair and want to wear hair extensions, using multi-tonal extensions like ombre, balayage, or highlighted extensions is a lot easier to blend than with a solid shade. Because the color dimension can help conceal any choppy ends and make the blend more seamless looking. Another great tip for blending short hair with hair extensions is to ask your hairstylist to point cut your natural hair. This is when they use an upwards motion in cutting and this softens your ends to help create a softer blend. I love being able to change my hair color and make it look like I took a trip to the salon with my balayage hair extensions, plus completely transforming my hair from short to long. Have more questions about balayage extensions? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.